I'm a general practitioner, but I have an interest in uh, a more holistic approach. So I'm looking at um, the medical side of it, but also looking at the wellness side of it, looking at lifestyle, nutrition, and all this stuff. And I've been interested for many years in offering um, a more broader approach for people. I've been doing acupuncture, for example, since 1984, when it first started. We, we trialled it on people with migraine, headaches. We trialled it on people with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, we trialled it on people with cancer, different various kinds of cancer, um, and a few other autoimmune diseases, hay fever. Uh, I remember three particular cancer patients um, who all had positive effects. Um, one was a woman undergoing chemotherapy um, at the hospital. And she went through chemotherapy with absolutely no symptoms from the chemotherapy. At the unit, she was actually helping the other patients who were all vomiting and losing their hair and God knows what else from the chemotherapy. She had none of the symptomatology, which okay. is very interesting. We thought maybe um, almost certainly the endogenol was playing a part in reducing the side effects of the chemotherapy. Okay. There was another lady who had a, a very large lung cancer. One of her main complaints before the lung cancer was constant tiredness. She was always fatigued and exhausted, and she had problems from the the, the cranial intracranial hemorrhage that she had. Right. Then we discovered that she had a lung cancer, and she did undergo radiotherapy. Um, I had her on sixteen capsules of endogenol, as we mentioned. The first thing she noticed was her energy levels improved enormously. Um, the second thing that happened was her lung cancer completely disappeared. Um, and she lived, I mean, her proper life expectancy was probably anything from six months to 18 months. She lived for another six or eight years after that. Right. There was a lady who um, had a bowel cancer she was in, probably in her late 60s when it was discovered with liver metastases. She had resection of the bowel cancer. Um, she had again radiotherapy. Again, I had her on large doses of uh, endogenol. Again, her life expectancy was probably anything from six months to two years. Um, Ten years down the track, she's still alive. Her liver metastases disappeared, and she's carrying on life in an absolutely normal way at the age of 80 something. Well, um, from a health point, I mean from a disease point of view, we're looking at any, uh, I would try it on any cancer patients. Right. Um, I'd try it on any, most neurological disorders, particularly migraine, headaches and stuff like that. Allergy type stuff, I would certainly give it a go. It seems to help with things like hay fever. But from the other point of view, what I'm interested in is not just sickness, but wellness. Sure. And I think um, there's a lot of people out there who are looking for um, ways to improve their own health. Sure. And I think it's, from that point of view, exogenal um, could be a, a great benefit to a lot of people. Well, I think medicine were really good at dealing with acute illness. If you've got meningitis, if you've got an appendicitis, if, you, if you're in a road accident, you want to see a medical doctor who deals with that stuff. Chronic diseases, we're not quite so good at. We use very powerful drugs which often have serious side effects. And um, what I would like to see more of is moving in the direction where we're looking at preventative kind of health. Getting people at this end of the spectrum before becoming the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff. And I'm really interested in using lifestyle changes nutritional products, nutritional advice, advice on exercise, advice on relaxation, meditation, the whole person kind of approach. And um, endogenol for me has been particularly interesting and exciting in that it's, an, it's, an, it's a local product. Uh, we've done it here in Christchurch and I think it's an excellent product. Mm.